Today I'm going to talk about a little adventure game for the Apple II called Castle Ritchie. A little bit later I'll explain how I converted it to ProDOS so it could be saved on a hard drive. But first I'll talk about the game itself. It's a type-in program found in the pages of Nibble magazine from May of 1984. For a type-in program, it's pretty amazing. It completely uses the high-res screen. In the top window are the graphics elements, including rooms and items. In the middle window is the description of the room and objects. In the bottom window, is that's for user input using a text parser. It has puzzles to solve and a monster at the end that guards the treasure. When I entered and examined the code back in the day, I learned a lot about AppleSoft programming. In order to save and load your progress, you had to open, write to, or read, and close a text file. Also, since this program is over 13K in size, it showed how to relocate the program above high res page 1, otherwise it wouldn't work. Finally, it showed how to implement a high res character generator, because you could not get the text on the high res screen without it. Interestingly enough, the author, Ben Gear required files from the AppleSoft Toolkit to use their high-res character generator. These files do not work under ProDOS. So in order to use this in ProDOS, I had to switch out the character generator with another. It had to scroll and allow at least two character sets. At first, I was going to use Apex Text, which is still downloadable on Tim Sabura's site. I actually contacted the author who got back to me and was happy to re hear about my interest in his program. When asking him about ProDOS compatibility, he actually sent me a source code and gave me some tips. I'd have to say that Apex Text is probably the best character generator out there. Why didn't I use it? Well, since Castle Ritchie is a nibble program, I thought I should use a nibble character generator to keep everything in the same family. There were a few published over the years, but the one that I found best for this project was Doug Hennig's Fount Foundry from November of 1986. It was easy to use, scrolls, allows two character sets, and has a few ampersand commands. I just moved the font sets from the AppleSoft Toolkit directly over to Font Foundry and changed sections of code in the Castle Ritchie listings to match. Of course, I discovered one issue. In Font Foundry, when you scrolled within a window that is indented one space. Take a look at that first letter on the left. It's not scrolling correctly. Luckily, the source code is documented extensively in the pages of Nibble. I'd insert some code that totaled 7 bytes to get it to work. In order to leave the input and output hooks undisturbed, I also had to move a 7-byte subroutine out of the way further down into the code. It works perfectly now. Anyway, check out the program. I have some links in the description. Thanks for watching.